My name is Steve Alliger. I've been driving with Decker for the last 23 years, and I've got 23 years of, on the road. When I see construction shows, I slow down, and most time, if the traffic's slowing down, I'll put my flashers on to warn them, the ones behind me, and just keep an eye on mirrors, check the mirrors all the time, because if you're on the interstate, fast cars and stuff fly by you, and come up behind you fast. Some of these newer vehicles, you poke a button and the car steers itself. I've seen people going down the road without the hands on the steering wheel anymore, and that really bothers me. But yes, phones and makeup, especially in the early mornings, people go to work. And you know most of those cars, or the ones that are driving the speed limit, then all of a sudden get a phone call, back off 15 miles an hour, and you go, why? I grew up in the farming business until I went to the trucking when I was age 40. So I had safety behind me to begin with. I was able to control the vehicles and stuff a lot better and knew travel, watch out for the traffic in front of me and behind me, and especially in front of me, a mile, a half mile to a mile ahead of me or so for lights and stuff. I just keep my eyes open and pay attention. I look around quite a bit. I think I'm doing it right by keeping my eyes open forward and backwards, knowing what's surrounding around my truck, especially like either back in the parking lots or even driving down the road and stuff. I'm driven some pretty bad blizzards and came to a stop just because I was done driving, but heavy rains can come upon you anytime and they may only last a couple minutes, but they come down real fast and you can't see anything, especially when vehicles aren't turning their turn headlights on or anything like that. Yeah, you gotta know your limitations to keep going. So. Sometimes you gotta maneuver pretty fast, but you also have to be looking in your mirror so you're not hitting the person beside you or to your left or right. I would still be a professional driver. The industry has changed to being more technology involved, so you gotta know what you're doing. Advice is to pay attention to what you're doing and put your toys down. You gotta have a good partner and stuff at home to control the family life or home life because you got so much stuff going on, there's places to get your loads to and stuff like that. I try to stay professional, especially with the company and the shippers and receivers and law enforcement people because you got to be good to them as they are to you and don't get upset with them. I know people have bad days, but you still got to get along and the next day will be better. I had two companies to pick from when I came to Fort Dodge. I went through the driving school and everything and picked Decker to go with and they've been good for me and I've been good for them. When I got driver of the year, I worked pretty hard for that one for a few years and then IMTA gave me a driver of the year a year ago, and now I'm working for American Trucking Association. So I believe that I'm a professional on the road, trying to make a good stance for the other drivers, communications between everybody, and good working solutions with the company. And uh, I just believe I could be the best driver for American Trucking Association.